All right. Okay, uh, I transition over. Welcome on, in, everyone. It's another political stream of me. And this is the type of political stream that I do, where it's just like, it's not me talking to a camera, you know, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, but as you can see, I'm not the focus of the thing. What I'm reading is the focus of the thing. And we're uh, in my interest of, and I want to like rearrange some things on my display. There we go. Ah, all right. Uh, just making sure the closed captioning is working. Well, at least it is working, but I'm not sure if it's actually it kind of like enabled in like um, the stream in Twitch. And so that it's an option for people. If it doesn't work, I haven't really figured it out as it were. Uh, but usually speaking, uh, the uh, the VOD would re I re upload to YouTube when I finally get around to re upload the YouTube. Then I forgot I got like, I want to trim these parts. Oh well. Um, when I re-upload them to like YouTube, uh, there is uh, created captions for that, so that is an option at least. So if it's not on one of these uh, Twitch uh, streams, I'm sorry, I'll fix it. Um, uh, but at least when I put it up on YouTube, uh, I'll fix it. Let's be which YouTube is my YouTube channel, uh, but it's also part of my socials there, and and. Is, yep, Sleepy Wolf waves. Hello, Sleepy Wolf. And and if you and I now have a command, I actually saw Hackbolt have this up where it's just a command for you to retweet it. So that way, just like bam, retweet for people to be able to retweet it as well. How are you all doing? Wolf, uh, well, you're sleepy, so that does uh, answer part of my question is like how is the wolf is doing. Um, yeah, but this is also another uh, charity stream for my uh, friend Phoenix. Is I will cover uh, some of her expenses that uh, they'll need by like Monday, but this is an opportunity for like others if they have the financial means to do also like a uh, help pitch in as well, so to like a uh, cover their, their their means. Uh, is and I think in the panel below, uh, yeah, uh, for Phoenix, I do have a link into their current, uh, one of their current like tweets about the situation to explain it as well. So they just need some basic uh, money to like cover some needs, and and by like Monday, I will, will eventually cover that. Uh, but also some like basic needs of like food because they don't give their their snap until the sixteenth, as it were. Or, but also to uh, be able to help directly uh, help uh, Phoenix. There's uh, some links to like to their PayPal pool and their GoFundMe, so you don't have to give money to me. And also that way, there's a won't be a transactional fee uh, to uh, given to either pay uh, to me through Steam Labs, as it were. That like gets lost in the thing. Anyway, uh, with that said, I now. We're going to read Capital and State by Gerd Devot. I apologize for my mispronunciation. It's kind of like in uh, my search for uh, essays to like uh, read to, for my own benefit as well you know, uh, on the state and anarchist uh, critique of the state. Because for me, that was the final thing for me to except say I am an anarchist, realizing the state's also a course of unjustifiable hierarchy. And so I wanted like, to uh, read uh, a lot of things on that. Uh, kind of like a... Is this a, weeks ago, I also read a Emma Goldman uh, essay on on a state society and an individual, and which I thought it was quite good. So yeah, uh, Capital Escape by Gil DeVos, and this is from the Anarchist Library. I also have the command for reading updated, so you can like read along with me. Uh, probably should have that in the title somewhere. Oh wait, yeah, I can actually do that in the title. Just put an exclamation point in front of reading. That way, you kind of like shows the explanation point reading to like get the command. So, yeah, that works actually. I had one character left to do that too. All right. And now, uh, yeah, so. Um, ooh, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, that, that'll be good. It, especially since, like,. Mm, Yes, queer and com gam represents. Yes, hello, welcome, uh, hearts, uh, kids, and uh, welcome on in. Mm. The tea is chai. Uh, Awu, Nas, and Echo, hello, welcome on in. 
I want to give a shout out to my friends who are in the chat and are cool and awesome and you should check them out and follow them if you so want to so Tabby the Wolfus uh, was playing Animal Crosses and there's the Neko uh, who was a uh, part of like a podcast uh, last night as well that uh, for some yes there we go mm-hmm <laughs> all right welcome on and and so the notes here is that as a abstract of the communist movement uh, 1972 on communist and capital and their relations to the capitalist state a section from Les Monota Communista editions and champ libre 1972 Tres revolution it goes page 60 166 to 167 so this, this is out of a book which is I wonder if there was a translation. Is it's from libtop.com.org, so like that's where they got the source from. It mostly, but anyway, so I apologize for the terrible uh, French mispronunciation. But give it to us, capital and state. Oh, we're good. Um, okay. In the course of uh, its evolution, communism has been driven to determine itself both practically and theoretically in relation to the capitalist state. The state is the government of men organized into classes. As I'm sure you can like use that. Well, actually, in, in my commentary here, actually, you know what? It is a government of men because we live in patriarchal society, but you can also again kind of like sub have that be a gender neutral term as well. But for all intents, I was about to say, oh, not bad on you for using gender er, er, languages, but it's just like, no, wait, wait, wait. Especially in 1972, it is men. Anyway, um, so I'll continue on. Politics is the art of organizing men. That one you can use gender neutrally, but it's blah. Uh, continue on. Political life is the com uh, the confrontation and confirmation of social equal class interests over the direction of the state. That is to say, to determine how to organize men uh, equal the relations between classes. Under capitalism, democracy is the political meeting place of different class interests and social groups. The economic meeting place is the market, which even those elements sedate, situate outside of the capitalist mode of production are ob obliged to enter since everything tends to become a commodity. Footnote 1, uh, Marx Finance de, de la Critique. Uh, okay, so it's like the source of it, as it were. Er, and as a more French words, it's like the source of the book that they got the quote from, and, or the citation, as it were. Uh, continuing on, close enough. Uh, with the development of capital, there are no longer any fundamental social oppressions between the classes and groups that meet in uh, the political sphere. A. The bourgeoisie liquidates the remains of the former pr uh, propertied class by incorporating them. Uh, open for those, the bourgeoisie fully absorbs all property classes it finds in existence. Uh, Marx Engels, The German Ideology, uh, volume 5, page 77, uh, close footnote. B, the bourgeoisie itself is unified by the centralization of capital. They only remains conflict of interest between the various industrial financial monopolies. Um, but these are not opposed class interests, and the state reconciles them almost automatically. The cl only class opposition is between capital, capital unified and presenting a almost single face, and the proletariat. Um, the, the footnote with the source. Of course, the unification of the bourgeoisie is nothing but a tendency whose uh, complete realization is impossible by the existence of competition. Um, See, uh, part one, value and development. Um, but it is precisely capital itself that opposes elements. Its elements, its representatives, one against the other. Politics no longer oppress classes, but the different layers inside the class and functions of capital. Uh, let's see, and the Harps kid is asking in the chat, uh, what is the perspective of the writer, the writers coming from? Are they a Marxist and Marxist Leninist, or are they an ANCOM that use big words? That's a good question, actually. I'm not uh, too familiar with the uh, author, or to be honest. Uh, well, we'll look up the author for a second, uh, because it, it doesn't make me wonder. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gildewat uh, is a French political uh, theorist, teacher, and translated, so it's a left communist in Confederate Resistance, which doesn't help. Um, 
that is the author I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Uh, the, the, oh, associated with like left communism. Okay. Uh, what does it mean by left communism? Because communism is left. Uh, so, yeah, okay, it's a political it's practice in, 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 is espoused by Marxist Leninists and Social Democrats. It's uh, so that's uh, the, the, uh, so yeah, he yeah, so he I guess he was so it, it developed a different uh, left communism. Uh, so. I guess he's kind of like a if he's a, if he's not an anarchist he doesn't say he's an anarchist. Um, oh hey, oh okay. My anyway, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I got mods that I can trust for that. Anyway, the, the yeah, but yeah, uh, so I'm not uh, entirely sure about like uh, the uh, author's position, but like they uh, they so maybe it's like a left communist or whatever that means. I can only exist them. Um, so I'm gonna tell this uh, right now to anyone who's watching. As uh, this is not an AMA, this political stream is not your AMA. Now the question that was asked by Harp's kids was kind of related to the topic of hand of what was the author, was the author's political ideology, which is actually I'm kind of curious about that because like oh yeah I don't know about this uh, author's uh, political ideology associated with left communism which I got from Wikipedia. Uh, so if there are questions or any comics and something like that, I want them to be related to uh, the topic at hand. As it were. Now we're talking about capital and the state. So in a way, my ideal economic system can actually be related to the topic of hand. Of, of I'm definitely against uh, capitalism. Uh, I'm a a narco syndicalist, and which is like a form of like uh, communism, as it were. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, no problem, hearts, kids. Um, uh, Ace was also asking a, a question that it was kind of like. Just they and just like randomly just pop in there. Oh, hey, what is your energies? And yes, it's just a reminder, so no problem. Nothing, nothing that anyone has done in the chat is like and needs to be actionable, so it's all good. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm in warning as well with all of you, uh, as I'm reading uh, Capital State, which is the whole point for me to like read uh, Capital State, but also figure to like read it on air and use it as, as well. And yes, there's like a in my politics. It's a uh, no. Uh, I can easily answer that. No, uh, anarcho syndical does not have a private property. If like it, like in the places like Rajava happens to have private property, is because they're in the process of like eventually get rid of private property. They just have to like live in the world of like the capitalist system that we have right now. Uh, so it was. It was for now, we'll like I'll continue on with the reading, as it were. And Ace, you can follow along with us with the command reading to the same this. Um, it, it, yeah, and it, it's what we mean by private is like we're meaning by a. A, someone owning a factory as it's own time. Not like me owning this mug. This is personal property. This is my mug. But then again, if I'm not using it and have no sentimental attachment to it, oh, you need a mug? There you go. Have you ever borrowed something from a friend? Um, but if, like for private property in that like I own this whole factory, I'm the boss of this whole factory, and you all work for me before wages. That's the kind of like property I'm. we are against. We're not against people owning stuff because it's personal property. We don't care about like the people redistributing everyone's toothbrushes. No, that's your toothbrush. It's disgusting. You keep it. We want to take over the toothbrush factory and then only make as many toothbrushes for need. Not for profit. Don't need any more toothbrushes because everyone got their two toothbrushes and there's a surplus of toothbrushes. Shut down the machines. Or repurpose it in the factory, toothbrush factory to pursue something else. Something that matched needs. And, and, and yeah, exactly. Um... 
Okay, remember, Ace, this is not your place to have a political discussion. It's just, Ace, the poli this is not your, your debate platform. So, yeah, if I want to have a debate platform, this will be in the title, Debate Me. But this is not the place. Anyways, uh, that should work. Not the, I think it's just C-Line. Hold on. There we go. Uh, so, Ace, read that uh, uh, comic there and be aware of what's it like to be a C-Line. Mm -hmm. As it, uh, I, yeah, it seems shorter than me. But anyway, enough of the distractions of like a, a topic, and that's uh, something that like a leftist have like a bunch of topics about. Uh, if uh, it may be, we can maybe after I uh, finish the essay, I can like save all these questions or comments and, uh, and then do like a, polit a politics AMA or something like that. Uh, or I'll probably start a valley. That's where it's a B AMA, and you can ask me any questions, any my political questions. But uh, continuing on with the essay. Under these current conditions, the decisive role of politics and democracy is to fool the proletariat. There are always political struggles which cannot be completely reduced to struggles for power by persons and clans. In effect, they are different programs. But on one hand, this is above all a matter of different aspects of one and the same essential program. This is not previously the case, for example, in France in 1914, uh, and especially at the start of the Third Republic, when certain political factions attempted to restrain, uh, restrain uh, economic development. Uh, so one quick thing I want to like make sure that is happening. Privities. It would, yeah, when I have like a window caption on for my reading streams, I like to actually capture the cursor so that way people can like uh, read along with me. And yeah, so here's where I was. Going. Okay, back to the essay. Uh, on the other hand, the parties exchange with reciprocal uh, the take as their own whole pieces of their respective programs. This state of affairs particularly developed after the crisis of 1929, and again, and to a great, to even greater extent after the Second World War. In France, governments of rights and left each brought in their own solutions to the crisis in the 30s. Level uh, level through deflation, uh, freezing civil service civil wages, then blum through devaluation and increase in spending power. By contrast, since the 1945 government of big capitalist countries, whether there are right uh, or of the right or of the left, all use the same pronouncement of anti-crisis weapons. Monetary politics uh, control the mass of currency in circulation. Uh, budgetary politics control the state credit, given a much greater importance than since the state itself is a polit political economic agent. And fiscal politics are used either alternately or simultaneously by old governments. In addition, for Europe, the movement of constitutional the constitution of national states and finished in 1870. In the same way, World War I mocked their movement when, in Europe, capital destroyed the external uh, hiatuses to its development. From that point on, the state was above all a means of for containing productive forces and for struggling the action of the state is political, but above it all is economics. The struggle against overpopulation. Uh, footnote the letters of English and Smithers uh, just, uh, okay yeah so, so it's the source of those things the national setting has become too narrow the only possible dimension for social development is the world uh, catching up with chat in case uh, in case you make sure that like no it's just reading lines adding things um, uh, yeah it, okay so Ace was asking it sets on the wiki that narco syndicalism believes in direct action isn't that basically terrorist uh, advocacy no it's not it's, if direct action is reaching certain goals by power physical or economic yeah it's uh, and Ace, again Ace I mean it, yes and Tavi is right this includes United States efforts to strike into etc you know like protests as it were um, direct action how David Graver de uh, describes direct action is instead of just like you going to your city council member the state representatives or your congressmen and senators and saying we want you to do this is and then wait for them to like 
get a task force together or just set up a study or like do things to say to do things and then eventually and <clears throat> yeah exactly totally that's an uh, excellent uh, 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 is um yeah thank you moderators how said uh, we thank you moderators and uh, but yeah uh, taffy hey hey that is an excellent point about like uh direct action let's get together to like uh, feed people instead of like um actually like a uh, waiting telling the government should feed the homeless and waiting for the government to finally feed the homeless direct action is like no you like food not bombs you just feeding the homeless directly or like a, a 90 year old like chef in like florida he get a, he got arrested like twice for feeding the homeless but it says like you can arrest me all you want i'm still going to feed the homeless Mm. That is direct action. Uh, and thank you to my mods for taking care of that. Um, so back to the essay. Capital itself expressed these contradictions in practice by rising up against the national limits, which often hold back evaluations. Uh, the tendency towards the destruction of nations' limitation is achieved by communism. Mm-hmm. It, 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 yeah, uh, but it appears under capitalism and is developed by a, to the extent that it advances the productive forces. However, just as it cannot uh, itself suppress uh, uh, value in the same way, it cannot uh, itself suppress the nation state. Only communism offers the possibility of an end to nationalism and ethnic struggle the perspective of the re reconciliation of the species within with itself the birth of humanity as the only subject of history open footnote the reappropriation of the conditions of life can only be global universal marx and engels the german ideology volume 5 page 78 um uh, Yes, I agree. Uh, yeah, comments about the article are fine, and and yeah, and thank you for like uh and, and doing in the moderation work because it's just like yeah, that was just like what Ace was like saying. You're taking direct action to like mean something totally different. But anyway, again, thank you to my mods. Um. About uh, continuing on with the essay, uh, which doesn't exclude shock and jolts during the period of transition. Communism thus presents itself as the destruction of nations' lim national limits and fight any demonstrations of national nationalism as counter-revolutionary. Uh, uh, open footnote. Oh, this is a big one. Uh, work. Um. Okay. Uh, open footnote. Um. While pu pushing the movement and national f formation, communism prepares the following stages. In recognizing no homeland, the international aims end at the unity of humanity. Itself against the watch world of national because this formula has the tendency to divide the peoples. Marx and Engels' opposition and exposition to the meetings of the General Con Council of the ATI. A A I T A twenty fifth July nineteen seventy one. There is no contradictions therefore between positions on the constitution of nation states, in which they represent a uh, historical progress and the principle according to which the proletariat doesn't have a whole on. Marx and Engels manifesto of the Communist Party and Marx the Revolutions of eighteen forty eight Penguin nineteen seventy three page eighty four eighty five. And and the commentary that made in the critique of the Gothic program. And so that's the any source for that close footnote and and oh well, yeah and that's uh, my commentary is like that's kind of the thing there's a whole reason for why um uh, marx and engels said at the end of the like the communist manifesto workers of the world unite because the oppression is not just like a the class oppression is common throughout like all of the like uh countries and nation states that have those class systems as it were and again nation states as well oh uh, I I don't know of any stateless societies, and there are stateless societies that are functioning right now that have separate classes. So, 
it's uh, and you can make the connection that like is the existence of this it is the existence of the state that actually kind of like creates that class divide as it were so um now i'll still say this uh so personally is that like this is why marx is cool i can only dig and like um I agree with and like have discussions with Marxists. Uh, while it's like uh, Marxist Leninist, that's where it's like you will work together on certain things that we can agree on, but it's like I, I don't think we will agree on tactics or like how to pursue things. I mean, on the left, there's still a debate on like should uh, leftists or socialists and communists uh, siege state power or not. I say no, I say dismantle the state, but we'll continue on with the essay. Our times thus mark the completion of a whole evolution of political forms. In the United States, in France, in England, the classic bourgeoisie revolutions have created a representative system for which the people, petty bourgeoisie, isolated peasants, wage earners, were excluded, but which united the interests of factions of the bourgeoisie. Open footnote on the bourgeoisie and the state after the French Revolution, uh, CF, uh, Marx, Engels, the Holy Family, volume, uh, and, Marx, and Marx and Engels, the German ideology. Hey, so. E and Tavi the Wolf said in the chat, big disagree on the need for a central authority that MLs tend to be in favor of. Yep, that's where you have me there. Be is because it's just like at like say a factory or uh, or any like corporations as it were. When the power is like the people at the top, uh, they are far away from like the production line that uh, they won't know what uh, would be the best things in the world. It would be the people closest to the situation that would like know what's best to do with the production line. And same thing with like a centralized uh, uh, government. Um, it, okay, Tavi, it, it, go and uh, get food. As the timer in command has like said, uh, self care is revolutionary. Take your bed, babes. Uh, stay hydrated, eat food, and take a break when you need to. Um, it, it's just like with as I was saying. So just like with like a, a factory or any kind of like a corporate entity with like the powers mostly at the top with the board directors and then like the CEO and like managers. There's about the, even above the board directors would be the shareholders. There's they are so far away from production line that it's not doesn't make sense for them to have all the power to make the decisions, especially in this just infection production line. Same thing with the centralized government, where the power is at a centralized place. Well, think of uh, any state capital or like Washington D.C. even for the United States. Why should Washington D.C. make decisions that are going to affect the like people of Oregon? When do they live in Oregon? Uh, have they been to Oregon? Do they know what the terrain of Oregon is like? How, how would people in Washington D.C. know what's best for uh, people? Of Oregon? like when handling a forest fire especially when there's like a kind of like almost a need for at least spontaneous and almost immediate uh, relief in action for fighting a forest fire as it were and so the the same kind of criticisms that one would have or like the state government's lack of response in like national disasters is the same kind of thing why i'm not that big on like playing central uh governance or a central government authority uh that mnl seem to be in favor of of uh, if there is a centralized authority i would want the centralized authority to be highly accountable but also be like flexibility or room for like local governments or people in, you know, in the local spaces like in oregon handle the forms for to do matters in their own way and to ha handle matters in their own um an issue especially in the need of emergency of a forest fire and not have the central government just like no you're not going to get aid for whatever reason as it were which is actually one of the big criticisms that uh leftists and liberals uh, and conservatives have of like the ussr of the starvation that like it allowed to happen or cause as well um I so uh, since we're already off topic, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Harps Kids asks, uh, since you're off topic already, do you see MLs as allies or as enemies? I see MLs as uh, allies, but not all MLs. It's, it, it, if I met a person and they say, I'm a Marxist Lenin, it's like, okay, let me do this. If I met a person that says, I'm a tanky, I'm like, that's where it's just like, if you were, say, if you're dingus, if you say you're a tanky, uh, I'm fine with Trotskyists for the most part. Um, oh, or Strasserness, as it were, or Nazbol. Or, or anyone that says that, like, oh, I'm economically left, but I'm culturally right wing. I'm like, get away from me. No. 
Um, yes, right, it, exactly. Anyone that put, it, it, uh, but if Marxist Linda say they're like, come on, Lenin did nothing wrong. That's where I also have a problem. If you ignore or deny the horrific uh, actions that like communist leaders has done, um, or or you kind of like forgive the the terrible things that Fidel Castro has done. This is where that's where it's just like okay, that's come on. Or like some Marxist leftists or Marxist leftists that will say, come on, the critiques against the Chinese government today is just like Western propaganda. No, the Chinese government are doing some terrible things to weaker Muslim and minority there. It's genocide. If we criticize the genocide that America does on uh, immigrants that are coming into this country with the concentration camps that we still have, then we got to also be critical of the Chinese government for their treatment of the weaker Muslim and minority population that they have. Uh, they're just re-educational camps, but if they're forced to go there and can't leave, then no, we can't be a part of that. But yeah, uh, we straight and off topic enough um, for right now. So we'll get back on topic and continue reading uh, the uh, capitalist state uh, essay. So continue on. The newly created capitalist society assured its cohesion. Uh, footnote on cohesion on this cohesion. See Marx and Engels, a homely family. Close footnote. Uh, through this place of meeting and compromise, where one faction sometimes establishes domination over the others, the groups making up the bourgeoisie were different, even opposite of some more progressive, in the sense of the development of capital. Others more conservatively, because tied to old layers of uh, vanished uh, feudal, system, feudal society. It is not enough to denounce a democracy as the capital of the government of the bourgeoisie, but there is this political system that is possible and necessary uh, of a theoretical and practical self resistance by the bourgeoisie, which progressively purifies itself uh, of its links with the formal society. These links were still very strong in the 19th century in Germany, but also in England and in France. Here, democracy plays a progressive historical role. Uh, open footnote: Marx and Engels, Leibniz, and, and you know, there's a no, yeah, that's a there's just the footnote's just a citation. It was the, the political means by which capital came to dominate society. And footnote ten is uh, an open footnote. Everything that centralized the bourgeoisie is, of course, advantageous to the workers. Uh, letters of Marx and Engels. Uh, of letters to of Marx to Engels, the twenty seventh July nineteen sixty six. Marx and Engels, selective contemporaneous uh, foreign language publishing house, Moscow. Mm -hmm. And close it down. At the end of the nineteenth century, the Third Republic was obliged to pursue a anti anti um, clerical uh, no, anti clerical policies in order to definitely eradicate the remainders of the of mon of monarchist and religious reactions schools were so a bit of commentary here yeah france today because i have a friend french um a french friend uh who's uh the co-host of socialist alchemy which the same less is commonly put in there the bottom is put there uh she is french uh let her know no. yeah uh, france is a very secular country right now yeah, there's some Christians there, but like it's being an atheist in France is kind of like the default position. Not saying that there's any like um persecutions for people being Christian. No, you're allowed to be Christian. It's a word. It's a secular society. Um, uh, but uh, she was so surprised to like learn that there is a atheist community uh, online, and it's mostly Americans because America happens to be a very religious country, as it were, and so it's always like a shock to her to, and she just can't. It, it's it, it's always like an adjustment for her to like hear atheist community and think, wait, that's a thing. I don't think it's I mean, honestly. I think it's something she will never get over it. And whenever she we mention the atheist community, she just have to say, it's, "I I don't understand it." Uh, so it's it's a boast in saying that the, the democracy is responsible for the adaptation of the capitalist systems. Um, I I would say that 
my personal uh let's see Tammy Wilson says on MLS I judge other leftists more on their individual positions and on important issues than on their political labels of choice. A example of genocide to know it's a hard nope. Yeah, I agree there. Uh for uh Deleuze is uh saying that democracy is responsible for the adaptation of like a capitalist system. Not the not democracy itself, because I see democracy as just like the people deciding. Um, it's I say it's the states that uh, are responsible for the adaptation of the capitalist system, more or less. The nation states, as it were, or uh, which is like kind of like the kind of transition between feudalism to liberal democracy, as it were. They just didn't want kings, so they wanted like so the bourgeoisie, the the mercantile class, the rich of their time, honestly, and still rich at the time. Um, do you do you feel it's a, um, a misnomer for liberalism? Ah, I don't know. I don't think so. Because liberalism always like accepted capitalism as a given, as it were. So it was kind of part of like uh, uh, liberalism's ideology, as it were. There's that split. The, um, the French philosopher, I know, I don't know, the philosopher and the historian H.A. Landa wrote his book, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, that there's that liberalism split where if you value capitalism, that goes you the right reigning direction from. from you know, liberals and conservatism to fascism because you're defending capital above all things else. But if you go with the social progressive like side of liberalism, legality, fraternity, equality, then that's where you go to socialism and to social democracy and then into like uh, socialism and anarchism and communism, as it were. Or the split is do you defend capitalism or not? And liberalism tends to, and nation states tend to, defend capitalism more or less more or less and so i don't agree it, it, so the democracies democracies that we kind of have with the nation states is a limited democracy in that you vote for representatives and then they make the laws as were as and they they decide and it said that the people decide representative democracies is where it's democracy for the representatives not for the people as were and that kind of like and that kind of ties in with the critique on capitalism as it is a separate, it is the private owning and controlling class that like runs the factories as it were. They also kind of like influence at the very least, if not also control the government as it were. Which is often always the case with like nation states from what I understand. Uh, so that's a good question actually. That give me a chance to think about it. Uh, but back to the essay. Uh, uh, schools were one of the essential weapons in this fight. The teacher represented a force for capitalist uh, progress compared to the priests. Uh, for this point of view, the workers' movement supported the efforts of capital to get rid of those uh, these obstacles. But the secular state school system and the separation of church and state are not in them themselves instruments of social project progress. Mm, excuse me. Mm, excuse me. At the completion of this movement, the capitalist school reveals all its mm, mis uh, excuse me again, mystifying and obscurious, thus finally reactionary functions. For example, by dismissing national ideology, nationalist ideology, the fact remains that in one specific historical period of the democracy, uh, the democratic state, fulfilling some uh, revolutionary functions. Uh, open footnote 11. Yet, uh, 1845, Marx and Engels affirmed that the independence of the state exists only in the backwards country, uh, countries. Uh, the most perfect example of the modern state is North America. Marx and Engels, the German ideology. Close footnote. It was for this reason that in the 19th century communism in certain phases supported democracy in order that it, it fully played its destructive revolutionary role. Uh, open footnote 12, the interest of the bourgeoisie in this topic is sometimes contradictory. Uh, C uh, CF, I uh, think, um, Bernays and Marx less... Uh, the class in France in 1848 to 1850, Ed's uh, Socialist 19, 
Chalice in 1948, pages 200, 236 to 54. Besides, the, the communist position is always prep, prep, preparation for the ulterior stage uh, by a struggle against the nation and the national state. The uh, working class only constitutes a real active force of resistance against national swindles. Uh, letters of Marx to Engels and uh, 3rd August of 1870, Marx, Engels, Le Canadien, the 1871, letters to the, and a bunch of other French ones for the sort uh, of, of the source of the uh, quote. Uh, close footnote. Uh... Yeah, this this I I'm liking this because this is getting into the weeds of the kind of like um how is especially how like Marx and Engels would like uh, see uh communism as a word. They kind of um uh, Marx for short sure kind of like interchanged like communism and socialism, but they kind of like they there was a time where they did think that like they uh, that workers would need to seize the state power in order to like uh, take over and dismantle it. Um, but then once the Paris Commune happened in 1970, that's where it's like, no, wait, actually, no, no, the the people can run things themselves. We don't need the state as work, which is why Marx is not a status. <clears throat> He, um, I've been told that later on in Marx's life, he even said that he's not a Marxist, um, which uh, because, yeah, it's the debate even for like Marx, the debate of like should socialist and communist see states power or not, which has still been going on for the past 170 years. Uh, I think Marx at the end of his life would came to like, a, no, we shouldn't seize the state power. So again, point to the Paris Commune is like, no, the, the workers can do it themselves. The state will crush it, though. Uh, which is why kind of institutions of like schools and everything like that and, and which is why he also mentions the, of the religious things as a word is it meant as a way to um, keep people in line as a word in fact a friend from Germany has this, this old saying there's an old saying in German and uh, you keep them stupid I'll keep uh, no uh, you keep them, uh, I keep them stupid you keep them poor uh, no it's, uh, I'm trying okay no no, no let me, uh, let's start it over the old saying in Germany. You keep them stupid, I'll keep them poor. Said the Duke to the Bishop. That way, we we'll rule forever. Which, that's tying into, uh, and that's a part of, like, Giotto's uh, critiques of, like, in, the way he's it in 19th century and 18th century Europe seeing uh, nation states as well as organized religion. Let's be, and I'll be clear here, I happen to be a, a pacifist. If there is a God, I don't care. If there's higher power, I don't care. It, I live my life as if there's no higher power. With that said, other people can totally have their own like religious practices. Absolutely. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect me. And if their personal faith, it's their personal faith. It's, it doesn't matter me at all. Um, the critiques I have of religion is more of like religion organizations as it were like uh the like Catholic Church as an organization I have severe your problems with with how highly conservative this is even in the, our, the year of our Lord 2021 the Pope who the current Pope who at first had the great propaganda PR campaign to say he's the cool Pope the, and said something affirming that, like, I don't have a problem with gay people, but this past year said, I can't support homosexual marriages because I cannot support a sin. Again, my problem with religion is more or less religion organizations as a body, as it were. I'm an anarchist, so it's like no one course of unjust hierarchies, and I think there's a debate to be had that, like, yes, the Catholic Church, for well, for one example, is a course of unjust hierarchy, and there's always all those in, in televangelists as well that use their position of power and capital uh, to uh, have power over uh, their subjects, as it were, and enrich themselves. Uh, but enough digression, and for now, uh, I'll continue with the essay. In the phase of the formal domination, it put pressure on the state against the bourgeoisie, laws for a 10-hour working day, etc. In the phase of real domination, um, Workers' re reformism seeks to assure for itself a function that is already fulfilled by the state and is integrated in itself into the state, industrial legislations, etc. Uh, its actions is counter-revolutionary. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, leftist, socialist, communist, and uh, anarchist. None all. I have met an anarchist that like advocates for reform. Is generally speaking, and now to be fair to Gator Lewis, it doesn't sound like he's actually an anarchist, but he has seems to have like at least like uh, anti-state views as well. So it's like if he doesn't say he's an anarchist, that's fine. If it looks like an anarchist, talks like an anarchist, it seems like an anarchist enough to me. But this is only like just one essay I've read from him. Um. Uh, but it, no, it, there's a lot of uh, anarchists that like said a lot of things uh, against performance, and I think my favorite one, of my favorite quotes I like to bring up uh, from Rudolf Rocker in Anarchocyclic Theory and Practice in Chapter Four, um, uh, participation. Oh, and thank you so, thank you for the follow. That's some name. I actually, I uh, will we'll, we'll say with that screen name in there that I won't read out loud. Uh, it's like I actually do share the sentiments, though. Uh, I'm from I'm from the Seattle area. Yes, I do. Th and thank you so much for the follow, Harps Kid. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. You're now following some random geekiness. Uh, will, as oh yeah, that Rudolf Rocker had this quote: uh, "Participation in the proletariat in the uh, parliamentary process." inoculates the socialists um, from self-help. It gives them more delusion that the change would come from above, as it were. I'm, I was butchering that quote, because uh, it's like kind of part of a paragraph, so it's not like a quote that you can just like riddle off or something like that. But no, anarchists definitely have their criticisms of reformists, and, which is why it's still strange to me that like a anarchist that said, a self-identified anarchist says, like, if anarchists are constant work in progress, isn't that reform? If, listen, no, we don't have a problem with reforms because if that materially improves a lot of people's lives or increase democracy, yes, we're totally fine. What we have a problem is reformism itself. Um, okay, yeah, that's a discussion for another time. Um, but yeah, I think I'll, I'll continue on with the essay as is. Um, Capital thus develops a political realm which is different from the state and the ancient regime. It has introduced a new relations between production and government, between economic agents and political subjects. The, sub mm, excuse me. the sum of the interests of bourgeoisie is different from the sum of the interests of the foreign ruling classes. Strictly speaking, there was no economical struggle between land landowners. By contrast, capitalists are in opposition to one another. Thus, it was necessary to create a body which stands above society, a bureaucratic and military apparatus, which can at the same time reconcile their interests and cause them to triumph. The Counter Revolution was able to present the creation of a state with autonomous power as a monstrous phenomenon, contrary to nature, opposed to the balance of the previous hierarchical uh, system. And footnote uh, number 13. Uh, bourgeoisies abolish the na natural state to erect and make a state that it is them own. Uh, Marx and Engels and so on. Yeah, it's like, kind of shows you more that like Marx and Engels, they're not status. They kind of, when analyzing the capitalist mode of production, kind of like realize they just create this nation state sort of thing to be able to control uh, all this stuff. Now, and like as they just said, now true, this individual capitalist entities can probably have to compete against one another as the the mark, free market competition, as it were, because competition is a good thing because it improves uh, innovation, as it were. But uh, uh, but how people naturally organize, as it were, which is not sometimes in capitalist like interests, as it were. Again, I'm not using this mug. If you want to use this mug, I can give it to you. That doesn't make money for, like, uh, capitalists. They want others to have this very special like, checkpoint mud of their own. Um, so then... Uh, uh, so then the... Um, that the estate will come in kind of like in, in forced poverty as a word to get people to have to like buy their own mugs as a word. Um, Harps, Harps Kid has a comment of Lenin spur a poor state narrative in, in interpretation of Marx. I reject the notion that Marx ever supported the state. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing surprising that like Lenin would do something like that. 
uh, continuing, so in close of footnote and continuing on with the essay. Of course, a, pre a presentation of the social body uh, as a harmony disrupts by revolution it rested on pure illusions. There were classes and class struggles before the bourgeoisie revolution, but that illusion was made all the more credible since politics and economics have formally tended to go hand in hand. The rich had almost naturally been in political chief, been, been the political chiefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because who funds the state is the rich people, so they control the state as it were, or the state works for them, in, in a sense. Anyway, continuing on. Um, the appearance of a separate political world was precisely a sign of change. Thus, the increasingly important role of ministers in England and France in the 17th and 18th centuries, in place of a pyramid of kings and subjects, with a fixed in intermittent groups, orders, and corporations, a duality was substituted a comprise of an economic sphere and a political sphere. The state operates a, a relatively peaceful coalition uh, of conflicts internal of capital to capital and the struggles between capital and the proletariat, but it has it has a recourse to the most energetic violence whenever it becomes necessary. Fourteen, open oh, the fourteen in June eighteen forty eight. See Marx Engels emphasis militaries violence and constitution. Okay, so it's just like. Okay, so it's a, a, that's a, the source of it, but it does have a quote. It's the people didn't sub, uh, expect the, that methods of war experimented in Angoria would be used in full in France. Uh, my commentary here. <laughs> when uh, imperialism has nowhere else to go, like the rest of the world has been imperialized, it comes home. Uh the events of January 6th, uh, the terrorist attack on the Capitol in, in America that would just happen in January, uh, that's kind of like America getting the taste of their own medicine because uh, America funded a lot of cool coups like that. I think even one in Egypt in like 2004, no, uh, during the uh, 2000, during Obama's uh, regime, Obama's uh, administration. Uh, and they even they even defended them like no is like the military was like to come and step in and do and remove the president that was democratically elected for the good the peoples were so when it benefits america they will back coups and like back military dictatorships all they want um they're just like not in favor in coups when it like happens to them like at the capital as it were or the terrorist attack uh, and and yeah this is actually yeah, and that was the excellent point. So it, it, it was it's true today as it was true in like the 19th century, in the 1800s. Continuing on. Um, the phase during which uh, democracy was revolutionary saw the use of violence against the proletariat and against the undisciplined factions of the petty bourgeoisie, 1871, and even the bourgeoisie itself. Uh, Again, okay, uh, footnote 15 is just like the citation. Um, the hot the harmonizations of the interests of capital with respect to itself and others thus combines what is commonly called democracy and dictatorship, including the employment of systemic and organized terror and massacres. There is CF, the struggle against the commune. Uh, I think this is referring to the Paris Commune in 1971. Um, continuing on, when capitalist generalizes large scarce in, uh, industries, its total domination of society has begun to be set in place. The real domination of capital over labor takes place with the development of relatively surplus value. Uh, CF the public the previous section, and open footnote sixteen. Oh, okay, now it's just a it's just a source on this sort of thing. Uh, so close footnote. Uh, from this point, it becomes necessary to obtain the worker's involvement in his work and to control his work at the same time to force him into a certain type of work the intensity and productivity of which must constantly be increased the development of the category of the semi-skilled worker and assembly and of assembly line work governed by the scientific organization of work starting at the first world war um 1871 okay yeah 1871 not 1971 yeah the paris Commune was in 1871 thank you for the correction um Take a drink. Uh, talking a lot does like gods want to be thirsty. Continue on. At the same time, the organization of the economy becomes necessary. It was 
it was known that capitalism organizes production rationally at the level of each businesses. Um, see if the summary of capitals by Ingalls and Ingalls for like capital. Uh, okay, so that's the source of it. Close footnote. But that the assembled of businesses meeting in the market do not form a, a harmonious whole. Balance is only established through fights and destruction under all kinds of forms, stocks of unused goods, bankruptcies of companies. Capital is now obliged to organize society like a business because it's necessary to stifle, to reabsorb the contradictions between business enterprises and between capital and the proletariat. Uh, I, my commentary here. I think you, you don't need any further good example of that as how it will just like benefit the businesses over the proletariat than like the 2008 crash, but even the dot com bubble before that and the recent crash of the COVID-19 in 2020. Each time, U.S. government could have easily propped up and bail out all those like industries that were failing, but we need the economy. They're too big to fail as were. Um, uh, yes, yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's a good uh, paragraph. I agree that it is literally the Marxist critique of, uh, of uh, capitalism. Uh, yes, and uh, like in 2008, the U.S. government in 2008 could have easily spend that $700 billion and give it all to the mortgagers, all the people that were homes were being defaulted. Give all those people the, that money, a portion of it, the split off of all those people, to allow them to pay their mortgages, still keep their homes, and by paying their mortgages, the banks are also saved because all the money for the mortgages are getting paid off and flown in. That saves the bank, and then they continue like lending, as it were. The American government didn't do that. Instead, they bailed the banks, not the people, and left the people to again fight for themselves. And so, in two thousand eight, we had a situation where the, like there are homes that went empty, foreclosed, or like they defaulted on in mortgages, and then people going homeless. And oh my God, so many of those like uh, investment real estate firms just like when the prices were so low, gobbled those empty homes up and kept them empty. For a long time, honestly, as an investment, and which are perfectly good homes, going to be used for housing people. And sometimes, when even people like squat those homes, like uh, the Oakland the homeless mom, uh, uh, moms for house for homeless people, uh, in Oakland in 2019, was that? It's been that long ago already. Um, yeah, they squatted a home. The state came in to evict those people because they were performing illegal out of squad in a home, but it was going in empty because that real estate investment, Westward Productions, Westward Investments, Westward Real Estate, I think, um, just wanted to keep that house empty so that they can express it up to be a luxury house and then sell it to whoever wants it. And whoever they sell it to, they probably can just like be a, a multi million dollar investor that keeps that luxury house as an investment and thus keep it empty, as were. And they can totally do that, and there's no fiscal punishment for them doing so because they're actually a tax break that kind of allows them to do that. But if they, they have to actually pay the taxes on the property, as were, eventually they'll be like, okay, I'm gonna have to like actually rent it out or something like that, or actually sell it, as it were. Still, though, the idea of owning homes uh, that you don't use but you rent out is uh, something I do not agree with either. Uh, but continuing on now, okay, back to the essay. Uh, capitals no longer merely subjugate the workers inside production in the factory, but in the whole of his life. To this end, it fights against the workers' spontaneously communistic tendencies. It's the action that, at the same time, economic, ideological, and political. It develops a mind-numbly mass consumption. Uh, yep, and, and, and Marx and Engels uh, do talk about like uh, commodities consumption and commodity fetishizations. That's where. But I'll continue. It speaks in. Uh, there's a footnote, but it's a footnote of, his, of the source of that quote. Uh, so I'll continue on. It speaks in the uh, praise of the worker and the wage condition, thus creating a myth, a mythological world of work where the worker is a king. Workers, parties played a primary role in this mystification. 
Labor Day as a national event, workers' festivals, workers' culture, which are grafted onto the workers' tradition and tempted at self-expression, dating from the time when a minority of skilled workers reach a level of cultural consumption, and perhaps to a certain extent of cultural creation, denied to other workers. Quite simply, for example, because they could not read. One speaks in praises of work, and one celebrates its dignity, whereas another type of activity is possible and necessary for economic and social development. The organizations of the labor movement also claims to continue the efforts towards the advancement of workers during the last century, an attempt which is purely reactionary today. The only social advancement which is possible is that of old workers in a community producing social relations adapted to contemporary social development. One could show the extent of this ideology of work in the reformist labor movement, in the most brutal counter-revolutionary Nazism, in the Russian, in the Russia counter-revolution, and generally in all socialist countries, which glorify the proletariat and the proletarian conditions. And footnote 19 is just mentions the letters from the in Marx and Engels in 12. And 12 June 1973. Okay, now. Yeah. I just want. Uh, okay. We were I'm wondering of like what is like uh, Gilded Vault's like uh, political uh, ideations. The fact that he put quotes around socialists and referring to socialist countries, that tells me enough already that like he doesn't seem to be a status. And so, which is why I'm not surprised that, that the anarchist library uh, added this uh, essay to uh, their thing. But it's called capital and state, and so imagine it would have critiques of the state as were, including the socialist countries. Um, but I will also like add on to like what's been in, like mentioned as a were of like the worker being the king and so were. I think the uh, I think that was part of the nineteenth of the twentieth century's uh, project of urbanization, since the worker can no longer be like in charge of their own workplace as it were. Even though they're trying to like imagine the worker uh, doing that, I mean. There used to be the thing as well as like, mm. and it seems to, uh, uh, okay, so uh, Harps gets seems uh, as it says, so that paragraph seems to be uh, that he wants in the transition to happen faster, but not necessarily that he's against it. it needs more info. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I, I should continue reading on uh, as well eventually. Uh, but it's like since the worker can no longer just own the means of his own production and own the means of his labor, something like that, and the surplus labor is gets attracted by the bosses and, and the capitalist mode of production, uh, the only way for him to be the king or in charge of things as well is at the household. A man is the king of his own castle, which is the project of urbanization, as it were. So that like also further atomize the workers from the other workers because he just goes home to work, but then brings home the bacon. And and it goes back to his own little kingdom of the white picket fence, as were, and then and the thermal nuclear family, which is also good for the uh, social reproduction of like making kids. You know, you at least two kids, and that's the generally accepted number of kids because having three or four kids, that's too many. Two kids are just enough because that can replace the two workers of the mom and the dad, so that to further propagate the like a species, but also further the capitalist system. Um, but it's kind of like we see how like the the uh, the capitalist like system is trying to thank you thank you for the hydrate. Uh, I see you're spending your like MB culture capitalism there. Um, uh, but like the the workplace on capitalism also tries to like do this a lot in that they will um think of it like businesses will say we're like a family here so you don't it, that's why it's okay for you workers not to own your own production as it were we're a family we do things for our family as it were but they totally don't act like a family because like at the moment of notice they can easily like fight a person it's just like do you easily just like kick someone out of the house just for like no reason as it were or even like something that's not through a fault of their own because like we need to downsize because we are not making if we're in the red right now you wouldn't do that in a household if you're in the red you just stay in the red and like ask big online in order to like feed your friends and, and family hey, instead of just kicking someone out on uh, onto the streets because like well we're in the red so we can't we got one less mouth to feed kick you out that's a horrible uh, like way to think about it uh, but anyway, I'll get back to the essay now. 
this is the opposite of the communist position, which is the destruction of the proletarian condition as a out-of-date social relation. The goal of capital is to simultaneously drown the proletariat in the uh, ideology of consumption and in the consumption of ideology. It also me meets an economic need to fight against the tendency of overproduction. Uh, and, and the footnote there is uh, the site source of this. Um, continuing on. Exchange must be spread as widely as possible. It is the, it's the consolidation of society by the commodity. But in its function, the commodity is only at the service of capital. Any destruction of the regime of the commodity bypasses that of the domination of capital. <clears throat> Okay, no problem now. Thank you for dropping by. At the same time, capital uses armed struggle whenever, excuse me, whenever it's necessary. <sighs> and and it's uh, it's like a source for for the reading, but along this is. Uh, it regroups the proletariat around the national state, developing nationalism and all the ideologies of a nationalist type. Here again, the Workers' Party play a major role. In the same way as it's mobilizing men, capitalism mobilizes their consciousness and attempts to impose on them a ideological mode, hence the development amongst intellectual forms of tragedy and unhappy consciousness. Ah, uh, yes, the false consciousness. Uh, the, 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 the hence the development of intellectuals, as it were. Kind of like the, in like our modern day times of the corporate media to the punditry class, as it were. Or, uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, that was like a, that's uh, some of the critiques. Uh, that's why Marx did actually say, um, that like he said he referred to himself as a communist uh, and called for the communist party as opposed to socialist from what i understand at the time the marxists was writing the communist manifesto socialists refer to more to the social democrats that's the word so those are the 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 workers party that were part of the state apparatus work with the state and it's all of the state and work with the corporations work it's kind of like those liberal unions that like will sell out the workers and will just like capitulate to the uh, corporations for whatever they want as were, or try to compromise in between the workers' demands and what the corporation wants. It's, uh, the workers wants like better conditions, better working conditions, more or better pay, less hours, and oh, those those things. Well, the capitalist always always wants like a less pay, more work, more work hours. There's and don't care about workers' conditions, and so long as it's like it gets the products out the door, products out the door, products out the door. Liberal unions try to do the compromise between those two, and they can also like establish their own power structures as well, which can be its own problem. As opposed to syndicalist unions or other kind of like uh, unions, uh, things like the IWW, it could be wrong though, uh, where it's just like, no, it's like, no, the workers will get what they want if they, they want it, and do wild, hence the reason for wildcat strikes, which are, well, for those who don't know, wildcat strikes are strikes that, like, the worker that are not sanctioned by the unions. No, that's a legal strike. You can't do that. Nope, you certainly can't. Um, since I'm at a good stopping point and I ran out of tea, I'm going to, we're going to like, uh, do, uh, practice some shelf care, uh, kind of like how our friend Tabitha Wolf was dead, where she went off and, like, uh, some food. Um, we're going to go do some, like, uh, self care right now. Oh, and I'm going to take a break, a uh, bio break, as we're going to get my tea so everyone can just, like, get up and stretch, as we're. Uh, top off your drinks. Uh, get some food if you're a peckish as were. If you have medication, that'd be a good time to uh, take it. Uh, we'll, it'll go transfer it over to the be right back screen. I'll go mix myself another cup of tea, and I'll run a six second ad break, and we will be right back. All right, I'm sitting back down. How's everyone doing? Transitioning back over. Uh, I want to click on one more thing to bring the forward. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, how's everyone doing? Ah, uh, so now we're continuing. Uh, I got a fresh cup of tea. This one is the lemon lift. 
It's a it's a black tea I never tried before. I've flavor very black tea I've never tried before. It's a store brand though, so it's like so. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm sure actually many British people do just like get like uh, big boxes of like a tea for a drink for their tea. Anyway, so I'll continue on. Uh, but one of the most important uh, weapons of capital um, is the, uh, the the democratic illusion. Oh, okay. So, and the footnote has the citation as well. Uh, most of the time, capital pres uh, preserves the parliamentarian facade. Of course, parliament was always the instrument of the bourgeoisie. Uh, the difference is that in the past, it used to discipline itself. Today, the state bureaucracy fulfills this rule much more simply since all the factions of the bourgeoisie, um, the, the state is nothing but the organized collective power of the possessive classes, Ingalls, the housing question. Uh, that, of course, but no. that is to say of the class that manages capital, wealth, uh, whether classic or state bourgeoisies. Understand that the object to be realized, to master and contain the development of capital. That doesn't mean not to develop it, because capital is dynamic by definition, but to control its development, to use all economic and political means to avoid a great economic crisis and the communist revolutions. Parliament deprives, deprives, deprives of any real power is used today rather efficient effectively as an instrument of like mystification it is curious to note that like the most of the countries which have carried out their bourgeoisie revolution in the original manner the socialist countries either preserve or create all parts of the democratic machine on the most ridiculous conditions 99 percent of vote in favor of the government in certain countries, for historical reasons, democracy may have disappeared, even as a facade, in a given, in given way to new political systems. Thus, it was in Germany and in Italy under fascism. And in fact, the innovation of only lay into the systematization of processes already employed by the capital during the de its democratic period. Uh, you know, with a footnote with a further reading A to C. Continue on. Fascism doesn't bring anything new as regards economics or social program, nor its use of violence. Um, a footnote, in respect of June 4, 1848, Marx speaks of war of extermination against workers proclaimed as enemies of society, uh, with the source of that quote. Uh, it's close to Still less in its ideology. <sighs> uh, I, I'm gonna get down on here. Yeah, it's um, fascism is almost kind of like nothing new with this whole system. It's more it's just like it does it further, as it were. Like, it, like uh, conservatism is uh, about like uh, the authoritarian power, as it were, uh, power of the, the state in some regards, like economically over others, and power of like uh, the great uh, historical powers over others. Fascism just uh, takes it up a notch, as it were. Not saying that like conservatism and fascism are the same thing; there are distinctions, but they're very similar to each other. Her, and so uh, this critique, as well as uh, like the the demo of uh, the other kind of democratic things and parliamentary things, the state kind of like lends itself to like fascism quite easily. I mean, uh, here in America, it's like that's it kind of like why is not surprising because it was entirely possible for a Trump to like, get into office. Uh, it's, it's the there is a debate to have if Trump is a fascist or not. Uh, it's, I would at least say he's definitely pseudo fascist, and fascists definitely love Trump for sure. Uh, is but like it's all because of like mechanisms for fascism to come to power. Liberalism creates that sort of stuff, uh, and state bureaucracies and all that sort of stuff creates sort of stuff, and just leave it around with good intentions as were, and then the fascists pick up and run with it. As uh, Yes, I mean, Letterano uh, lives in France, and, and uh, she he says that, like, the curfews that the French government has, like, instituted in order to, like, for lockdown of to prevent further spread of COVID-19, she is calling it straight fascism. In that, uh, its curfew is at 6 o'clock. 
you need to be home by six o'clock and the police will enforce that as it were and then you have to have special papers to say i'm allowed to be out of the house by after six but if most people like work until like five or so you have only an hour to go grocery shopping but then the grocery stores have to close at a reasonable time too in order to meet the curfew as well and it, it was got it, it's gotten to be too much for her and she had, she had like called the straight fascism on our show a social justice alchemy and it's kind of like hard for me to like uh, argue against as it were So uh, I think the critique here is how the democratic uh, kind of like um, states as were and the socialist countries and states and the apparatuses of capital and state lends itself to fascism quite well. And they, again, what all fascism does is just take it to the extreme. i continue on. It's only innovation consists in the organization of a whole assemble uh, of counter-revolutionary means at all levels, economic and political. Uh, with a footnote uh, citing the source. Uh, the only foreseeable solutions for capital is the reduction of its contradictions by attaining through violence, fascism, or through reformism, the agreement of workers, popular front. But this is only for a period, and in the end, the result is the same. In both cases, the reduction of contradiction is necessary and complemented by nationalism and militarism, both which flourish under the popular front. Uh, and leads to the pre-preparations uh, pre for a new imperialist war. The difference is that Germany could prepare nerd for it under favorable conditions. Uh, after the downfall of the fascist countries in 1943 and 1945, democracy presented itself all over again in those countries as an alternative permitting progress in relation to fascist regimes. Actually, it had itself given birth to those systems and had never fought against them. Uh, on Spain, you see articles on inference and notices seven and eight on various articles. And this. Yeah, and that was the footnote. Um, continue on. It had made itself the instrument of a anti-parliamentarian violence and been the first to set up special bodies of reparations outside of the police and the regular in army in Germany, in Germany 1919. Democracy served after in 1914 to 1918. A. To make the proletarians believe that its democratic proletarian framework uh, permits a progressive evolution towards greater collective well-being and internal and international peace. B. To allow capital revolutionary forces to organize in parallel and generally in close connection to itself uh, when then liquidated it as it becomes useless. Interesting. I, I wonder if I have anything to add to that. Because I'm, um, for the most part, I'm just like, mm, no, 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 I'm agreeing with it. Uh, so if I don't have much to add, I think I'll just like, continue reading it on because maybe like there'll be like answers for it on down the road. Anyway, so continuing, democracy does fulfill its role perfectly. First, by crushing the proletariat physically and ideologically, and when this appears insufficient, the counter-revolution for which democracy was only one instrument among others got rid of it. Uh, after the defeat of fascist like uh, countries, uh, especially due to their relative weakness compared to like the other imperialist countries, democracy reappeared while persisting all over again in the crushing of the proletariat. A during the last part of the war by organizing with the full collaboration of workers' parties, its national anti-government coalitions in France and Italy, and B during the reconstruction and boom that followed the war. I mean. Definitely here in the United States, you can definitely see like the ideological like uh, crushing of the proletariat, as it were. Uh, Delta Airlines would like put up their things. So I'm like, you don't want to join a union, as it were, because union fees are very expensive, as it were. But uh, and you can save those union fees and buy yourself an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One for four hundred dollars, as it were. Uh, I mean, it's your decision, but we're kind of like, don't pay union fees, buy an Xbox. 
so that's one way they they still crush it ideologically as it were and then you also just totally crush it physically because like yeah even if they can't do it in democratic means if like a country like elects a socialist like leader as it were and uh the capitalist class or the a state or like the united states as an example doesn't like that socialist leader because oh i'm just redistributing land to all these like people they will crush that too it happens like time and time again <clears throat> and also the state will crush the proletariat physically um by just like sending the cops when they are striking their works and forcing them back to work or something like that, or just fire them and put them in prison where in the united states at least they'll put them to work as prison and laborers and so it's just some constantly a thing <clears throat> oh this is actually the final part of the essay so i'll finish this up and i'll finish up uh, that part of the uh, stream um Today, the defiance of democracy against reaction only has a anti-communist content, uh, and, and that's just a footnote with the source. Uh, the only reaction today is capital, uh, as well as shows by reproducing after 1945 all honors which is like to make the responsibility of a particular form, or whereas like they constitute the content of the of dictatorships of capital in the phase of real domination. No problem, no problem, it's okay. Yeah, I totally am fine with, like, uh, lurkers at all. And it's, I've, like, they left the stream to, like, go to the store as well to pick up stuff as well. Uh, we're at the uh, end part of the, like, uh, essay, actually. Uh, da -da 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 the... I'll, I'll, I'll go back to reading this part. As well as it shows by reproducing in after 1945 all the horrors which it would like to make the responsibilities of a particular political form. Whereas uh, they constitute the contents of dictatorships of capital in its phase of real dominations. Militarism, permanent wars, waste, massacres, misery, organized famine. Organized famine. Oh my god. I remember I, I listened to like a couple of podcasts uh, how like joe biden would mention to like the british government i'm irish uh that's reminds me he's like that right the potato famine that the that the uh, irish people suffered under yes yes there was the potatoes would was introduced to ireland and there there was like a problem of a fungus growing that wiped out the potatoes as were but that wasn't the main cause of potato famine it was because of like the british government just like not ex assisting the irish people on that as it were it's kind of like the state just allowing uh people to starve because like no it, it, we don't want that or the bengal famine uh in india that like winston churchill just allowed to happen because he has some terrible opinions of like the indian people oh that, that mega racist uh winston churchill yes you know, not an idol it's not someone to idolize and the cops in England right now are every time that there's some kind of like a demonstration happening, which is against the police, because they the cops they need to be held responsible for the actions in the UK, in the United States, anywhere. Um, yeah, but whenever there's demonstrations, the right now the UK police are not going to stand guard outside and uh, surrounding a Winston Churchill statue. They want to defend the Winston Churchill statue. Winston Churchill, white supremacist, by the way. And that footnote there is just like that source. Uh, but anyway, I'll continue on. Democracy is no more part of the counter-revolution. A screen used parallel to the most savage dictatorships. Uh, footnote. Everything that used to be reactionary behaves as if it were democratic. Letters of Ingalls to Bengal, oh, December in 18, 11, 11th December 1884. Marks and Ingalls elected in correspondence for languages of publishing house. Uh, close footnote. It is not an ideology, but a particular phenomenon. It has been so successful at, if it had been so successful after 1945, this is because its economic and political conditions were met by prosper, uh, prosperity and peace in Europe. All the, uh, all the large social political conference taking place outside of Western Europe. In the same way, if the counter-revolutionary characters have now begun to appear, it is because real social contradictions appear and oblige it to reveal its representative face. Capital is forced to become more and more totalitarian. 
because it needs to include and contain the totality of the components of its society. And the final, and to close out the essay with this footnote, in any case, our in any case, our sole adversary on the day of the crisis and the day after the crisis will be the whole of the reaction, which will you know, group and around pure democracy. And this, I think, should not be lost sight of. Uh, Marx Engels looked at correspondence of uh, foreign languages publishing house book. Well, so that is uh, Capital of the State. A bit more from Marx's uh, and kind of like a Marx and Engels and kind of like a critique of things, but I enjoyed it. And I, that's a good point. At least the cops in in England don't have many guns. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> it, I could send it over, as it were. I'll put it up to my YouTube channel uh, eventually, and, and then like on. Um, and for those of you who are not following my YouTube channel, here are my socials, um, including my YouTube channel. Twitter is also the best place to follow me because that's where I'm going to um, uh, announce that I'm going to be streaming, and when I'm on uh, Twitter, because uh, right now I don't have a Discord server or don't have a public one, and I'll probably work on it. But now that we finished that essay, and it's a uh, 5 p.m. my time. I think I'm going to uh, play a game. So I'm going to just like uh, chill out here a little bit and fire up in the game. And we'll be playing some Stardew. Uh, that's totally fair. It's, I, I, it's, what was the last thing that cost me? It's like, what the, why the hell is that trending? Because like sometimes I'll be like, why is that trending? I don't want to know why that's trending, right? Oh, God, what's that trending? Because and a lot of people are just like, oh, open Twitter, sees what's trending. Closing Twitter. So, uh, but like, uh, um, so we're just going to relax. Uh, but you follow me here on Twitch, so that's an another way to know when I'm, I'm streaming. Uh, so I'm going to just like change the information for the stream. Um, um, and I tweeted about a month ago, too many... Yes! 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 A lot of liberal LARPers there as well. Uh, I was so surprised. I So, two years ago, I was on a stream. I, I wanted to be, like, um, present myself as, like, kind of an expert. It's like, I know a lot about anarchism! I've only been an anarchist for a full year. So, I want to talk about anarchism! And try to, like, convert, like, liberals as it were. I, I thought these people were leftists. They were trans uh, advocates and very like uh, pro trans and pro LGBT and stuff that's cool and awesome. They seem very progressive. And they called themselves leftists. But they were like totally in favor of hierarchies and didn't want to get rid of capitalism, just want to like uh, modify capitalism, you know, like the Nordic model. And I'm just like, I thought you people were leftists. They what to men to them being leftist is being a social democrat, which to be fair, when a lot of people said, especially Americans say, I'm a socialist, you have really got to ask some questions and find out why they're a socialist. Because for many people, um, it's just because like they're a social democrat. Uh, so now I'm going to change the title in the stream of 